Folks, we've got a lot of hungry people on this planet. Our oceans are under siege. We have uh, climate change accelerating, and we have more demand for healthy protein than ever. I'm not going to be that depressing. So that that's just kicking us off here. Effectively, you know, what we're doing at Cuna Del Mar is we're asking ourselves, how can we help? What can we do to fix these problems? And we believe at Cuna Del Mar we have the foundations of a solution here that is bold, scalable, and generative. And effectively, we have been pioneering this space for about 15 years, and we don't have all of the answers. But what we do know is that aquaculture done regeneratively can absolutely revitalize species, it can build biodiversity in the ocean, and it can strengthen communities. So a little bit about Cuna Del Mar. This isn't going to be an advert for us. What I'm showing you here is about seven different companies that we are the investor in. So Cuna Del Mar is an impact investment fund. We are working as an ecosystem with these companies. And to solve this problem of revitalizing species and regenerative aquaculture, we need this whole network of companies. That's what we've come to learn. And so we have four production companies, three fin fish farms and an oyster farm. We have a genetics company, we have a technology company, and we have a, a contract research organization. And they have to function in a network if we're gonna solve some of these big problems that we have. So folks, this slide you can read. What I want to say is that regenerative aquaculture is not just about the oceans. It is also a land-based resilience program. So if regenerative aquaculture is done properly, communities thrive. We have jobs, we have food security, and then we have you know, economic development happening in these communities. And I want to be clear that regenerative aquaculture isn't something off into the future. This is happening right now. This is real, and we are doing this. So let me get to the, some examples for you. So this is a company that we have. It's called Santamar. And Santamar operates in Mexico, in La Paz, Mexico. Very hot spot. We are working there, and these guys have been pioneering regenerative aquaculture for years. And we not only want to ensure we do this sustainably, but we really want to do this with no harm to the ocean. And we have three species that we farm at, at Santa Mara. We have Wachinango, which is a red snapper. We have Tatuaba, and then we have some oysters that we do as well. And we do all of this with submersible pens. And that is because it is a hot environment. We're working in warm water, and we're pioneering warm water. And what we need to ensure is that we can work within the thermocline, because the water gets really warm, and we've got to make sure that we have storms. And so what you're seeing here is a little of that submersibility. Now, this is the star of the show today, because this is uh, a tatuaba. And it is endemic to the Gulf of California. It's a little ugly, but let me tell you, like, <laughs> this is one of the best fish you will ever eat. But this fish is only able to be eaten because Santamar and our company has come in. This fish has been under siege for years. It, is almost, it was almost extinct um, because of overfishing and illegal trade. And what we've done at Santamar is we have created, over the last 10 years, uh, a restocking program to revitalize this fish in the uh, Gulf of California. So it was nearly extinct. We have put 300,000 juveniles back into the Gulf of California over the last 10 years. And this fish is now swimming beautifully and freely in this space, strengthening, again, communities, building resilience in the Gulf of California. So not only are we doing that, revitalizing, but if we are going to revitalize fish stocks, traceability is an incredibly important thing. And we want to ensure that everything on your plates, and I think you should ensure everything on your plates, you know where that comes from. I'm sure Mark Kaplan's in here saying amen. But, uh, but you know, effectively, that is a huge component of us revitalizing as well. So the other thing is, it's got to be economically viable to do this. So regenerative aquaculture is economically viable. And when you have shared values, you have shared success. And these are some of the companies that are working with us to do this. I want to talk just a little bit about another company of ours, which is Blue Ocean Mariculture. And this is a, this is a company that is in Hawaii. And again, we are working in warm water environments. This is a beautiful Kampanchi fish that we have. 
This is a beautiful picture of our pens. Now, what is really more beautiful is what is happening underneath the water here. If you get out to Hawaii, I welcome you to come and visit us and go for a swim around this. What you will see under here is this area is teeming with wildlife. So much biodiversity happening here. And these, these farms turn into what we describe as fish aggregating devices. And so we have so much biodiversity being built and developed in these spaces, and, and we've got the data to back that up. So we take what we do very seriously. And so we are very, very um, certain to be compliant with all of the regulators, we go beyond what the regulators want, and we are doing this in a way that is doing no harm to this space. We just had a water dilution study completed, and this farm has been around for about 10 years, and the water, the water situation is exactly the same as when we started. So folks, I'm gonna get out of your hair here. What I wanna say is regenerative aquaculture is not simple. There's long regulatory permitting issues. It's difficult to get farms set up from an economic perspective. But what I would say is we have gone and done this at, at Kuna Del Mar. We have pioneered this for the last 15 years. We've made all the mistakes that anyone could make. And what I want to say to this room is if you are at all interested in going down this road or you know somebody who's interested in doing aquaculture differently, we want to talk to them. Not for our own personal advantage, what we want to do is help people not make the mistakes we've made. And there's so many that we've made. Now, folks, what I'd like to do is have all of you join me. We are looking for opportunities to support others. We are looking for that next generation of entrepreneurs and innovators who are interested in doing things in the ocean space. And I think if we can come together, if we can find those researchers, those policy makers, the innovators, we can take regenerative aquaculture and make it one of the most important revitalizing forces on this planet. So thank you very much for the time today.